Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here once again with another video on The Flash Season 9. So last week, last week? I think it was last week, hopefully. Anyway, time's flying. This, this year is finishing off quickly, but I think it was last week. We got the first teaser trailer, or I guess just trailer, for the final season of The Flash. That, of course, being Season 9. Now, apparently, and this is just a quick thing to include, just because people were tweeting at me about it yesterday or... Yeah, yesterday, I guess, from when you'll see this video. But apparently, we are getting another trailer. That being an extended promo, about roughly a minute long, which will include the footage from the first trailer that we got, I think, last week. Um, but with, like, another, you know, 30 or so seconds of new footage as well. The CW used to, to do this a lot, but back in, like, season two or three, not really recently. But maybe it's the final season. Let's have a bit of a flashback uh, moment with the Flash and do stuff like that. Now, this was tweeted out by a CW affiliate Twitter account, but, but that apparent trailer at the point of making this video at the very least is yet to come out. So I guess keep your eyes peeled for that trailer over the next couple of days if it is gonna come out or my video on it. It might be false news, that's a wait and see, but I thought I'd just address it at the beginning of this video. Now back to that first uh, trailer. So in that first trailer, it showed us you know a decent amount for such a short teaser, only about 30 seconds, without showing us too much at the same time, as it does appear that like, 90 or so percent of the footage from that trailer was just from the first three episodes of season nine with maybe like a minor amount of the shots like a handful of them being from episodes four and maybe even episode five as well but yeah most of it seemed to be from the first three episodes which is usually the case for the trailers leading up to a show premiering its season now we got official first looks at new characters coming to this season such as the owen mercer captain boomerang and a post-crisis murmur and also what appears to be a post-crisis fiddler as well but there was a quick shot that many were curious about and wondering who the hell is that supposed to be and that is you know the majority response because you can't see the face of whoever it will end up being and that was this shot here of some mysterious and ominous person not giving off necessarily that they're good or evil but it seems a bit dodgy it seems a bit like, like they might be a bit antagonistic and they're in a hood and what looks to be the central city citizen officers so that's what we're going to be talking about from this point onwards in this video today so yeah question who the hell could that be let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on this. Who do you think it is? Do you have any major theories? Do you side with anything I say in this video and the options I do bring up? Or do you have a completely new option? If you do, let me know in the comments section down, uh, down below. Always curious to hear what you guys are thinking. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, want to show your support, all that, why not drop a like on the video too? Do all that and show your support. Now, the first option is one just to chuck out there. I don't think this is actually like a legitimate option. I think it's just something to chuck out there just because people said, well, this character has a hood and we see them in the trailer and that's Pied Piper. So we see Pied Piper with Barry and honestly, it could be Pied Piper. I don't understand why it would be. And also it doesn't look exactly like the hood that, like Pied Piper pretty much wears like a really thin cloak. It's not like that really thick hood. You know what I mean? It's more of like, a, it almost looks like a hoodie that just is a over, oversized. That's sort of what, like what Pied Piper wears. To me, it doesn't look like Pied Piper, but maybe it could be. But the, I did see people chucking that up that, I don't know, it could be Pied Piper because we also see him in the trailer. Um, I just don't think it is. It could be. I just don't think it is. But I think it'd be worth, I thought it was worth mentioning because people were bringing it up saying, hey, it, it could be him. I mean, we do see him in the trailer, but I just don't see how it could be him at the same time. The next option is one that makes sense because the first graphic novel for this season revolves around this villain and that is Red Death. So we know up till episode five, I guess from episode one up to episode five for the most part, is this Red Death rogues type arc or whatever it's going to be. So it could be Red Death, but I don't understand why Red Death would feel the need to walk around in a hood um, unless they don't have their suit or something like that, or they've got to get equipment to make a suit in there. But I don't know. I don't know. Just, I don't know. I don't understand why they would have to walk around in a hood to keep their identity covered, but it easily could be because they're the villain of this first arc and that whole shot where we're seeing this you know, mysterious and ominous person in the hood gives off a very like villainous, creepy, weird type of vibe. Like it makes you think, okay, well, they're a villain, they're doing something weird. So it easily, easily could be Red Death. I just think Red Death's going to make more of a uh, barnstorming entrance and just sort of like come in, all guns are blazing, kill people probably, and not try and be too stealthy. I don't think stealth is going to be Red Death uh, I don't, uh, yeah, I just don't think stealth is going to be Red Death's, you know, go-to. Um, and this hood sort of thing gives off like they're in the dark, they're being creepy. 
it's giving off like stealthy vibes. Well, I think Red Death would just sort of run in and go, oh, your neck's on the other side of the room now. Like, that's what I think Red Death would do. So it could be Red Death easily. They're meant to be the villain. So it's an easy one to connect there. I just don't think that's the case. You might disagree with me. Feel free to let me know in the comments why. Now, the next one is one that I actually don't, it, this probably lines up with the Pied Piper one, but I guess Pied Piper sort of had some more backing because we see uh, Hartley without the hood in the trailer. But this one is another sort of like just hood connection. And that's actually a post-crisis Dr. Alchemy. So he got to see a post-crisis uh, Captain Boomerang, post-crisis Murmur, post-crisis Fiddler in the trailer. So could there be a post-crisis Dr. Alchemy? Now, whether this is played by Tom Feltz is another question. There's been no suggestion or hint that he's in this final season outside of him. I think he liked a couple of Grant Gustin's recent Instagram posts or something, but they've, I think Tom Felton was one of, was he one of Grant Gustin's groomsmen at his wedding or something like that? So they're, they're still, you know, friends. So it wouldn't be weird for him to like an Instagram post. So I don't know that there's much connective tissue there, but I did see people bringing that up. Like, hey, did you see he's liking the post? I'm like, well, I think he's done that even like only like over the past couple of years as well. So anyway, could it be post-crisis Dr. Alchemy? I just want a bit, of, a bit of a tangent there. And the answer is there's nothing that really supports it outside the fact that Dr. Alchemy also wore a hood back in season three. And it was sort of like this thick type of hood that we're seeing here. So it easily could be post-crisis Dr. Alchemy. And the other thing that sort of, you could argue somewhat connects to it. And because they're in the same, you know, this hood person showing, showing up in the same trailer is that we do see Barry sort of having these weird dreams where he's seeing like the woods and stuff like that and waking up with a nightmare. And that's what Dr. Alchemy was doing to people as well. He was sort of getting them while they were sleeping and stuff like that. So there is the chance that that's the connection there. I don't know if there's a need to bring in Dr. Alchemy and I don't know what the purpose would be and how it would connect to other certain storylines. So unless it's something for the back half and it's just sort of planting a seed early on, I don't understand. I just don't, I, I can't put together why you'd have Dr. Alchemy there. Um, so that's a wait and find out. Like season three, that storyline made sense why Dr. Alchemy was there and affecting people. But with this one, I'm not too sure. So yeah, could it be Dr. Alchemy? You let me know. The next one is a very popular one that people were bringing up. And that's because this character, at least this version of the character does wear a pretty long and sort of uh, mostly covering hood. And they were trying to keep this person like a bit of a mystery sort of thing and make you guess until they reveal it. And that's Spectre or Oliver Queen. Now, if Oliver Queen was going to come back for this season, the only way he could come back as your classic Oliver Queen or Green Arrow is if it's either multiverse or there's a flashback scene or Barry time travels backwards. Like that's the only way it would happen. If Oliver's going to show up in the present day, it's going to be Spectre or I guess a multiverse version. But, you know, in regards to like being from Earth Prime and showing up in present day, it's Spectre. And this hooded person could be Spectre. And the thing with this is that they could have this person doing weird stuff in the background or randomly showing up and not show the face. And it wouldn't have to be Stephen Amell in the hood. You know, Stephen Amell can just show up for a reveal scene or whatever it might be. So Spectre is a good choice that people have been bringing up. And I, I somewhat side with it with making a lot of sense, especially in the way he shows up in the trailer where it's just, as I said, like very mysterious, very ominous, but it doesn't really give off a straight up good or evil vibe. And that's where the Spectre situation could sit. Um, I guess it matters who he's visiting because he was in the Central City Citizen offices by the looks of it. So is he visiting Iris? Is he meant to be like sort of like warning Iris, maybe something about something that's going to happen in the future, trying to protect Barry in some way without directly saving or telling Barry what this is. And maybe it's up for Iris to sort of lay things in a row or something so Barry doesn't get damaged or uh, killed. I'm not too sure, but I can definitely side with people saying that Spectre just because it looks like the big hood. So yeah. Decent choice. And the last one is probably the obvious one just because it's very ominous, gives off, as it doesn't explicitly give off good or evil vibes, but I guess if you're going to side with one, it gives off some evil vibes. And that's Koa Blue or whoever is connected to the crystal in the future. And that could be this mystery villain that's then revealed in like episode six or seven or something like that. And maybe that's what's going on here. So we get some little seeds planted. And this shot could be from episode four or five. As I said earlier on the video, like 90% of the footage is going to be from like the first three episodes or so, but they might include a couple of shots from episode four and five, maybe even six up to where they were filming before they released the trailer. And that's maybe where this shot of the person in the hood and the big cloak within the central city citizen offices comes from. It's one of the, those episodes. So it's setting something up for the back half of the season. So, you know, we had that crystal in the future. We obviously know it's not the red death stuff. So it's for the back half storyline for this season that could easily be, 
who this uh that could easily be the connection sorry for whoever this person in the hood is that's an easy one now obviously whether it's eddie thorne or it's a completely new character that's another question but then would you really keep them hidden like i think if it was a completely new character you could show their face and just not show them walking around with the crystal you know what i mean you could see them doing weird stuff and maybe like hanging around the background and being weird but not say that they're the person with the crystal but if it's someone that we recognize from the past uh whether it's from the flash or some other arab show but i guess most likely the flash then you would keep their identity hidden and that goes the same with specter and i guess even dr alchemy and i guess to a degree red death as well so yeah whenever it comes to keeping identity hidden obviously it's going to make our brains race and go well who the hell could it be is it going to be this character or that character or whatever it might be but um, I think they've definitely uh, tantalized people's uh, thought processes around this. And I'm excited to see who it is. And also, I think we'll get a, a good inkling, I guess, of who the character, I guess, is going to be. If we see this character in like episode two, or if we finish the first three episodes and they haven't even appeared yet, then maybe it is setting up the back half storyline for the final season. So, yeah, let's wait and find out. But um, yeah, I'm curious to see who it is because it was a quick shot, but it was definitely something that, uh, that caught people's eyes. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. You could drop a like on it to show support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions about all this stuff. Who do you think it is? Is it anyone that I've mentioned? They have maybe some more evidence to back it up or is it someone completely different that I didn't even touch upon? Let me know in the comments section down below and your general thoughts on that. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.